Good morning, everybody. We're up and about. It's like eight o'clock in the morning right now. We are getting ready to go out to Mount Rushmore. The skies have finally opened up for us. It was raining and storming something fierce this morning, but it blew over really quick. And now we got blue skies, a little bit of cloud, but the sun's out, and that's most important. Well, if you turn it up, we got some new merch going on. Enjoying the ride. And since we're under the uh, social distancing thing, pretty much everywhere we go, just six feet apart. Courtesy of Craftily Yours from Green and Wilton. Yeah, a friend Thank of uh, like so Mia's there in uh, spring. Hooked us up with these great little t shirts to uh, wear while we're on our vacation. Doc's pulled up with the truck. We're going to load up and uh, head on out. Let's go. Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Rushmore was our destination today. Come find out. Mount Rushmore National Memorial. We're here. Ain't we, May? Yep. Hey, hey. There it is. See about half people masked up and half are not. Choosing not to wear a mask today since we're outside and the crowd doesn't seem to be too bad. Well, apparently they're under some renovation, so can't go in any further. It's kind of a bummer. Let's see if we can go down that trail that I think it's called the presidential trail that goes around. I don't know if that's open or not. We'll get some photos and see what else we can see. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame that they're doing a lot of construction. Uh, can't see it probably from this GoPro, but they actually have people up there on top of uh, Roosevelt doing some construction up there. And as you saw on our way in, they're doing construction on all down the, the pathway that leads to the better view. But uh, we're here, we're getting some good shots, get some good video. And the crowd isn't too bad. I mean, there's a few people here, but considering the virus that's going around and everything, the, the crowd isn't too overwhelming. I mean, there was no line coming in and people are re real respectful as far as letting you get your pictures taken and offering to take them of you. So uh, it's a good trip. We're gonna see if we can find that trail that leads down there. Get a little bit closer. How about that? All right, on our way down this, I guess called Presidential Trail. I think. I'm not sure. But it's a trail, nice paved walkway all the way to a better view of Mount Rushmore. Got me and Doc behind me, trying to make our way. And this is the direction we're going. I think there's more people on this trail than there was up there taking pictures. There's the visitor center up there where we just came from. It's not that hard. It's beautiful. 
Ooh, got a little steep grade coming up here. Might be doing some huffing and puffing by the time we get to the top of that. All right, here we go. Really cool rock formation. See what we got here. Well, we found a little resting spot, take a little rest on our feet, come down this really steep trail. Another really great angle of Washington, Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln. Like every little turn, there's another great view to take a picture. We just came from a spot up there where they giving a presentation on the history, life history of uh, Lincoln. It was really interesting. And they also had a uh, Lakota Indian up there. We got a picture made with him. Give a little brief history on on their people. It's really interesting. Really neat to listen to. We stopped here. Like I said, just take a little rest. We're just to continue on down the trail, get some more good pictures, and just enjoy this beautiful weather. Thousands of years now, you know, it'll still be here. Your kids, kids, kids will be bringing here. I will tell you this: no more presidents will be going on, and no more work. You got to remember, this is now a historical monument. The next success eventually will be Crazy Horse down the road. And if you haven't seen Crazy Horse, go see it. And think about how these two are going to work hand in hand. This is federal land, that's private land, but nevertheless, uh, it's really going to be a magnificent area. I think this right here is probably the best view that we are able to see. They got the rest of their presidential trail closed off. I don't know if it's for construction or what but this is as far as we can get they got a little pavilion in there got a ranger telling some stories of uh, the history of mount rushmore but uh probably everybody knows but you kind of see it on uh, george washington's chest his coat and it was it was originally supposed to be like a full like a waist up of each president but time and money got to him and they wasn't able to finish it so they just went with the bus like from the uh mid chest up they got the sculpture in there uh it's probably 15 feet tall of what the original statue's monument was supposed to look like and it's like completely from the waist up it's pretty cool and one thing i want to add this is like one of the uh they say it's one of the most disappointing monuments to see in america and i don't see where they get that it's incredible up here so if you ever get a chance to come see us come see it. it's well worth it they say it's smaller than what they thought but pretty daggum huge to me it's beautiful so come to Mount Rushmore climbing back up did the Mount Rushmore visit heading back up this trail where we came a while ago lots of rocks lots of trees lots of hill you know as we was making our drive here from Deadwood I was asking me and Doc why is this called the Black Hills? Because everything's so green. Well, here's the answer. You can read it. Distant hills covered by the deep green of the Ponderosa Pines look dark. Thus, the Sioux Indians call this area Pahasapa or Black Hills. There you go. Question answered by the good people here at Mount Rushmore. Just traveling up this, uh, got just a little ways to go, get back up to the top. Can't see it real good on this GoPro, but 
There's, there's a lot of hills out there. It is beautiful. Just want to stop here and get a nice little quick selfie of just the vastness of the Black Hills. It is just an incredible view up here. You can just see layer after layer and layer of hills. I don't think it comes out too well in this GoPro, but it's, it's pretty incredible looking. Just, I mean, vast. Vast hills. Really beautiful. Let's make our way back out this front gate here, head back in the truck and head over to Crazy Horse Monument. But one thing I wanted to uh, kind of clarify, earlier we said they had people up there on top of uh, at Roosevelt's head doing construction. They're not doing construction. They're getting up there and making plans to uh, plant some fireworks for the 4th of July celebration they're going to have out here. So uh, yeah, they're not doing no, no construction. Okay, previously thought. But, uh, last look at Mount Rushmore. There it is. Right, crazy horse, here we come. One final little stop here, uh, leaving Mount Rushmore. We we'll just saw this incredible shot of his profile as we're winding through these mountains. It's a really good shot. Perfect photo opportunity. We we'll stop and take advantage of it. And uh, we're on our way again. Beautiful country up here. Georgia, Washington. Profile shot. There he goes. See him up there? Can we see him? Last, last little shot. Uh, if we see him through the trees, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Crazy Horse Memorial just went through the front gate. Closer. You have arrived at your destination on the right. It's crazy. There's more people here than Mount Rushmore. Small portion. Yeah. There we go. Did she say this theater is about to start? Did you say the theater is about to start? It has started. Oh. Number one, if you want to wait, there will be another one in theater number two over here. Oh, probably about 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Theater number two in about 15 minutes. Yeah. You just stay close. That's what you need to do. Wow, you can actually see Crazy Horse from space. That's cool.
of what they want to have after the completion. They want university, hospital, and of course the completed sculpture, a crazy horse.